it's Aiden from youtube.com slash myapplehelp. What I'm going to be showing you how to do today is how to add fonts um, to your text edit. Now, um, most people think that you can just download a font and it will automatically be on um, uh, text edit. Well, that's not necessarily true. There is an application that you have to install it to. And if you, in your search box here, just click, um, what is it? Font book font here we go. Here we go. So font book is going to be one of your applications that is necessary, um, which is absolutely required to do this. Um, another thing you're going to need. Um, is text edit right here. It's gonna drag this in here. Okay, so you're gonna click here in whatever internet browser you're using. You're gonna go to okay, so free downloadable fonts. Okay, so once you have your free down downloadable fonts, um, I like to use 1001freefonts.com. Um, and up here you have a wide variety of different fonts that you can choose from. Um, let's say I wanted, um, let's see, comic. There's um, many different ones that I can use, and maybe I'll say, oh, I like blacktop. So I'll click the Mac OS X download. Not the Windows Downloader. And if you want to find a preview of it, you can just click here on Custom Preview, and it'll just show you. Um, you can type in here, let's say I wanted um, my Apple Help. You see? And, yo. Um, so now I have this, and it's going to be a zip file. And it's going to show a black top in your folder here. So you're going to open up the folder, and it'll have um, these different ones. Um, so next you're going to open up font book. And take this font here, and you're going to drag it in here. Then it'll show up as black top on here. So now you can just simply click on text edit. And you can say... My Apple Help Format Font Show Fonts. I can just go up here to Blacktop, and it'll automatically change it to Blacktop. So now I have that that type of font on my computer. Um, so I hope this is helpful to you, and I hope you enjoyed it. So um, I'll see you later.